Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. I'm very Good evening. well. What about Good. you? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, just waiting for you guys. Waiting for you. How um uh, how was the how was your weekend? What do you do? Mine was a uh, a uh, a busy weekend because I I was playing football and softball. All right, that's nice, man. That's nice. So, how do you find the time, you know, to do your hobbies like that? Mm, just because my wife and and I we play the same sport. Really? Okay, that's a hey, that's awesome. That's a good wife. That's a perfect wife for you, then. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. That's awesome, man. That is really really cool. All right, so so do you play often? Yes, I I used to play every weekend. All right, okay, very good. So, all right, I got you, got you. What about the rest, guys? How was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, partners. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, okay. You you was asking how was a uh, our weekend? Um your weekend, yes. Yes. Um okay, uh I'm going to tell you that uh, I uh, I had a very good weekend because I I share with, with my wife and with uh, my partner in the church. We have a meeting with in the church and uh, we meeting in in the parking and after we we eat in a restaurant and. And that's why we 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 had a, a weekend, a very nice family, and with my partners in the church. Okay. All right. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, really, really good, guys. I'm very glad to have you here, guys. Very, very glad. Okay. So, how are you doing with the platform? Did you complete exercise? I mean. Uh, did you complete one, uh, section one, two, and the, well, just one and two, right? I finished both. Yes, one and two. Yes, teacher. Teacher, I don't understand the exercise. 1.9. 1. 1.9. 1. Uh, uh, did you yes. join? Have it's you been part. joining? Have you been joining every class that uh, that we've had here? This part I understand because I understand uh, why. O sea, yo no entiendo qué tengo que poner. O sea, los verbos son creo ver? irregular, verdad? O no, en present continuos. I, I'm not really sure what I'll 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 open the exercise if you want, but listen, viniste a la a la última clase y la penúltima. Yes. You did? Pero es que vimos los, los ejercicios, lo vimos ahí en la clase. So what happened? Uh, I don't remember this part. Okay. All right, okay. Uh all right. So we'll see, we'll see, okay. Which exercise are you talking about? Which exercise are you talking about? Uh, the first. The first from what section? 
the first of 1.9. Okay. All right. Um, Chair, if you want, I can say the answer in, in WhatsApp. Yes, please, because we saw, guys, si les di la respuesta para eso a todos yes. en la clase, right? Yes, you did. A todos, guys. So, no sé qué pasó ahí, Fernando. Um, but I have it here if you want to take a screenshot. Okay. So, over here, right? So, these are the answers. And they're also, they're also, guys, in the videos, right, that we upload. So, guys, con todo el placer del mundo, right, yo les ayudo en la clase, guys, okay? Si no vienen a la clase, es su deber, guys, ver los videos, right, y ahí están las respuestas, okay? So, just, just be mindful with that, guys. But, yeah, uh, pretty much, Fernando, if you want to do it on your own, right, you're going to use the verb P plus the past participle, participle form of the verb, okay? Only that, usas el verb be y la forma participio del verbo que está en paréntesis. And that is, that is it. That's all you have to do. Okay? All good? All right. Very good, guys. So, okay. anyways. All right. Very good. So, in any case, guys, let's continue with the class. Right? We are in section number three now. And we will talk about... This, where is the, we're, we're going to talk about present perfect continuous, okay, right, well, last time guys we were talking about simple past and, and past continuous, right, and we were talking about the association uh, between while, oh, and actually, we, we do have, there is something else that we need to see there. Okay, so, so, uh, past continuous versus past progressive. Okay, so there is something, guys, that we do need to continue seeing there. All right, over here. This one right here, right? So we were talking, guys, about, uh, we were talking about while, right? Why and when. So, guys, do you remember? Do you remember, guys, when we use, um, do you remember when we use when? We use when plus simple past, right? And we use while? Past progressive. For, for, with past progressive, that is correct, okay? All right, now we can join them both, right? So let's write simple past and versus past progressive. All right, so we can join them both. So I can say, um, while I was cooking dinner, the, la usurpadora, Right, we're gonna call her the, the, the usurper called. Right? What tense is this? Past account. progressive. Past progressive, right? Progressive. Okay. So that is past progressive. And we are using while. Okay, and this is simple past. Now, let me ask you something else. Can we combine, can we use while and when at the same time? No, no teacher. No, we can't, right? We cannot. All right, we can't, guys, okay, so now, can we, how can we transform this, guys? How can we transform this sentence? Hold on. How can we trans transform this sentence using when? How could you do it? Do my favorite, guys. Everybody in your notebook from the last class, okay? I want you to 
give me the same sentence here, the same one, right? The exact same yeah. sentence when. without using while, and you're gonna use when, okay? When they used to I was cooking. I'm sorry, what? When they used to I don't, don't know the pronunciation. When, when the they usurper, the usurper called, called, I was cooking dinner. Cooking dinner, very good job. Okay, congratulations. This is correct. Okay, you change the order of the sentence, but that is correct. Okay, and then we have, you can can we change the 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 clauses? Remember, guys, the clauses. What is the clause? Quickly, what is the clause? It's a group of words. What? Two, two sentences. That Plus contains language. a subject and a predicate, right? Mm -hmm. So, can I say, guys, I was cooking when the usurper called? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. This is also correct. Both of them are correct. Congratulations. So, what is the only difference, guys? Hey, I'm not using while here, right? So you can either use while, guys, with past progressive, all right? But you then you're not gonna use when, or you can use when, but you're not gonna use while, okay? Right. And they they both talk about interrupted actions, okay? So far, so good, guys. Clear as Volka Petrov, three thousand percent alcohol. All right, very good. Listen, hey, but David. What if you're talking about two things at the same time? Thank you so much for asking me, guys. I love your questions. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. All right. So what if you're what if you're doing two things at the same time? Hmm. Now, right, we're gonna get la usurpadora here, right? Instead of y plus, you know, instead of y plus uh instead, you know what, instead of past progressive. And past progressive, right? I mean, in, in past simple. This is what we've, we've been seeing so far, right? Acabamos de ver past progressive y past simple juntos, right? This is a love story, right? They are in love, but la usurpadora viene and we're gonna get rid of past simple, okay? All right, so what do we do, guys? We're gonna use why we're gonna use past progressive and past progressive. Okay. So we're gonna use them both together. So now this is different because we're gonna use this guys to talk about two actions at the same time. So when we combine guys past progressive and simple past, we use that for what? What is the purpose of past progressive and simple past? We use that for what? To talk about what? For an interrupted action? Interrupted, right? Interrupted actions, exactly. Right? But if we say past progressive and past progressive, it's not for interrupted actions. It's for two actions at the same time. So let me write it in here. So right, so these guys, we're gonna use past progressive and past progressive to talk about two actions at the same time, okay? All right, so two actions at the same time. So for example, guys, something, Tell me something that we all Salvadorians do, guys. Tell me something. Tell, tell me something that we always do at the same time. Teacher. Uh, tell me. While I was uh, running the dog park. Yes, that is. Yes. But if you say, okay, so if you say while, right, while I was running the dog the, park. The, the dog barked if i say this guys is this past progressive and past progressive 
Um, uh, no. In, in simple past. This is past progressive and simple past, okay? It's okay, Alex. What I'm asking guys is, while I was running the dog park, right? No. So I want guys two actions at the same time. So my question is, guys, what is something that we Salvadorians do all this time at the same time? ¿Qué es algo que nosotros como salvadoreños hacemos toda la vida al mismo tiempo? Estamos haciendo al mismo tiempo. Tell me. Eat and watching TV. Okay. All right, guys, do my favor. I want everybody to, in your notebook, write down, guys, five examples of two things that we always do at the same time. Okay? Todos en el cuaderno, cinco cosas que hacemos cuando um, al mismo tiempo. Okay? Real quick, guys. I feel it, chair. All right, guys, so uh, let's share your examples. So, Edgar, what example do you have? What are the two actions at the same time that you have? Mm, I used to read and listen to music. Okay, let's just, just the two examples, guys. Okay, so let's have, you know, let's have uh, reading, right? So, Reading and listening to music, okay? Very good. Um, what else, guys? Give me two actions. Check the cell what? phone and eat. What? Okay, talking. Talking on the cell phone. Like that. Talking on the 
Cell phone. No, check the WhatsApp teacher. And eating, okay. Checking, okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna say talking on the cell phone and eating, okay? What else, guys? Number three. Watching hey, TV. Why watch TV? Watching TV and what? And eating. And eating, okay. Oh, very eating, good. I don't know. Okay, eating, very good. Uh, number four. To eat and drink. Okay, eating, eat a drink. Eating eat. and drink. Oh, eating and drinking, okay. Eating and drinking, okay. Very good, what else? Race and watch TV. Cook. Okay, so last cooking and? And washing the dishes. And washing, washing the, the dishes. Okay, very good, right? I was going to say, guys, something that we all Salvadorians do, guys, we all do is number six, driving and using the cell phone. Isn't it true? No. Yes. It is 100% truth, right? Or driving and drinking, right? <laughs> no, not at the same time, right? So, guys. Know that this is going to be number six, okay? So check this out. I'm going to do some magic, okay? I'm going to transform. I'm going to join these two ideas together. Number one, while give me give me a name, guys. Give me someone's name. Give me the name of your of the person of of the woman or the man that you love the most in your life. Thank you very much, Cheyenne. While Cheyenne, right? was reading he was you can see uh what Chen was reading he was comma right reading he was listening to music all right or you can say and check this out you can say hold on you can say Cheyenne was reading no comma while he was reading while he was listening to music. Got it? I'm gonna transform number two. All right, give me all right. So now it's true, guys. Give me give me the name of the person that you love the most in your life. Come on. Anybody. My wife was talking. My wife, right? My wife was talking. Was talking on the cell phone yeah. while Bye. she was eating she was right? eating okay so these are the two examples that i'm going to give you guys because you're going to give me the rest okay so i want you to notice i want you to notice what tense is this guys hold on first of all guys how many how many sentences do we have do we have one sentence do we have two sentences three sentences how many do we have one sentence. We have one sentence. And how many clauses do we have? Two. We have two clauses, right? Very good. Yes. All right. Which one is the first clause? Cheyenne was reading. Cheyenne was reading. And which one is the second clause? He was listening, he was listening to music. music. While he was listening to music, okay? We have one and we have two. And what tense are these? Are these in simple present, in simple past, in simple future? What tense, what tense is this? Past progressive. Past progressive. Very good, guys. These sentences are both in past progressive, okay? Past progressive. Progressive. Okay, and we have the same here, right? Past progressive, sorry. Ah, all right, very good. Past progressive and past progressive. Oh. I'm complicating my life, guys. All right, let's. Go. So we have yes, we have past progressive over here, and we also have 
And we also have Bass Progressive over here. Okay, does it make sense, guys? So we have Pass Progressive and Pass Progressive together. So the only thing that you're going to do, guys, is that you're going to put while in with, with between, and both sentences have to be in Pass Progressive. Okay? Questions, guys? Is it clear now? Do, do we understand? Perfectly, like Coach, 100%. I have Tell a me. question. Tell me. Uh, we can use why and when with plural. You can use while and when with plurals. Yes, absolutely. You can say they instead of Chayandra, you know? Yes. Yes, Fernando, you can use them with plurals. An example would be, you know, um, they were singing while uh, while they were driving. Okay. Or you can say, you know, people, the people driving. Well, the people were singing while they were driving. You can say. Or that. you can you can we we were no. Yeah, you can use we. Yes, you can use we. Okay. So guys, I have an exercise for you, okay? Uh, but yes, Fernando, you can use we too. So I have an exercise for you. You're gonna create a story, okay? And you're gonna say it in front of everybody. Um, the story is gonna be like this. You're gonna combine, guys. You're gonna combine the sentence, guys, in uh, past, you know, past perfect, past progressive, past progressive, and past progressive, whatever way you want to do it, right? But you're gonna create a story. I want somebody, guys, to help me read this. And this is how the story might um, should sound. So who wants to help me read this? Okay, teacher. Edgar, thank you. I spent my holidays in Wales last year. I travel around by bike. Every morning I got up early, set off on my bike, visit, visit, the village on the way and take take to people. My friend preferred to spend their holidays by the sea. So while I was cycling, my my friends were probably be sitting on the beach. But one day when I was talking to a farmer in a village, my mobile rang. My friend were calling to tell me that they were waiting under a bus, a bus stop, because it was raining so heav heavily at the seaside. Right, okay, wonderful job, applause guys. Very good job, man. Well done, sir. Good job. So, very good. So, I want you to notice, guys, that, well, if you have questions about vocabulary here, guys, let me know, okay? So, I spent my holidays in Wales, in Wales last year, right? That is in simple past. I traveled around my back every morning. I got up early, set off on my bike, visited the villages on the way, and, and talked to people. So, all these guys in the simple past, right? My friends prepared to spend their holidays in the sea. So while I was cycling, my friends were probably sitting on the beach, right? So this is an example in real life as to how you can use past progressive and past progressive at the same time. But one day when I was talking to a farmer in the village, my, my mobile rang. This is an example of an interrupted action in real life, okay? So you're gonna create a story like that using this image right here. So, I don't know, guys, if you want to do it like, um, maybe, you know, I don't want you to describe, right? No quiero que escriban, quiero que se inventen una historia. One day, be creative, guys. One day, my uncle, um, Borracho Bert, right? My uncle Borracho Bert was reading a book when he he when he recalled um 
he was supposed to get a call from from uh, from Emily Emily La Loca, right? From Emily La Loca. So you know he started walking while he was reaching out for the phone book at the same time, okay? So see, I'm just creating a story, guys, all right? About the images that I see here. So I want some of you guys to please take a screenshot. Alguien, por favor, a mi favor, y tome captura de pantalla. Y lo envía, and send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Send it to the WhatsApp group, because this is what you are going to practice right now, okay? All right, did you take a screenshot, you guys? Yes? Ya le tomaron captura? Yes. All right, very good. So in that case, let's get started and let's practice, okay? Inventes una historia a partir de las imágenes que ven en la pantalla, okay? So let's go, guys, let's create I'm creating the, the room, so let's join. Let's join, let's, let's join right now, guys. Everybody join the rooms, guys. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Need to make sure everybody has a couple guys, so let's go. I have the picture. But I can't share the screenshot. You can't share it? Uh, teacher, I can't uh, share the screenshot. What, what happened? It's okay. It should be in the WhatsApp group. Mm, okay. Yeah. One, one day when I visit In that my case, grandpa, will be visited. my grandpa, I see him. No, come. On. I saw him. I saw him. Picking up a phone call, bro. Yes. Okay, tenemos que usar los tres tiempos, ¿verdad? No. 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 No, it's yes. um well, yeah, to create the story, yes, you can use whatever tense you want. Okay. But, but you need okay. to include past progressive and past progressive or past progressive and simple past, okay? Okay. Thank you. Picking up a phone call. 
I saw him very happy. Because he got a good news. Uh, the second one, John was uh, John was walking to the phone when the uh -huh. phone was running. Yes. John was talking. John was walking to the phone when the phone was running. Yes. Walking to the, the... phone. The poor Iranian John is yes, John. John was John was uh, talking. Yeah. Oh. John was uh, talking by phone while he was smiling because he. Hello. Okay. Sería recorded o filmed en lugar de ajá, en lugar de filmed. Recorded, lo dejamos así, recorded. Record, ok. Record, start record, pero, pero irían dos en past progressive, started y re recorded. Mm, yo digo que mejor lo dejamos. Eh, recording. Ajá, recording. <laughs> Estar uh -huh. recording, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. He had a residency. Algo así se dice, ¿verdad? I think so. He had a, a green car from USA. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Solamente, ¿no? It sounds good. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Bueno, entonces, yo me quedé donde dice my, one day, my, my uncle, uncle was reading, reading the newspaper. Uh -huh. Was from green. When, no, while the phone ring. Okay. <clears throat> And the boss of my uncle call him. Wow. So how are we doing here, guys? And girls? Teacher, I have, no, we have the history. You have the story? Yes, I we have the story. All right. Do you want to share it with me? Yes. My uncle was reading the newspaper while the phone ring and the boss called my uncle and the company needs you because uh, we have a problem with machines. Okay, when we had a problem with the machines? Just with the machine of the factory. 
All right. Okay. So we had a problem with the machine from of uh, the factory's the factory machine. Okay. All right. The factory's machine. Okay. Very good. Factory machine. Yes. Factory. All right. That is good. That is good. All right. I'm gonna check on the other guys, but um, yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's Thank go back you. so we can share it with the rest of the class. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was muted. Sorry, guys. I was saying, <laughs> who wants to share their example, guys? <laughs> I was muted. Who wants to share their crazy story with me? With us? With everybody? Sure, I want to share my story. Go ahead, Raul. Thank you very much. Let's go, sir. Okay. Last week, my uncle was sitting on the chair, resting and reading the book. Uh, he liked to read very much. After two hours reading, the telephone rang. His brother wanted to share the weekend together because it was his birthday. My uncle was very happy because his brother will be in his house sharing his, his birthday number 50. His birthday number 50, okay? Good job. Good job. Uh, be careful with third person, but other than that, that was really good, man. Congratulations, guys. Plus, well done. All right. Okay. Very good. Who's next, guys? Who wants to share their story now? Me. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Go on. Oh, perdón, perdón, lo silencio. Uh, one day, my uncle John was reading a magazine while he was drinking a coffee. Then he received a call from Aunt Janita Barrios. She started recording TikToks and he was excited about the idea and he congrats her about her goal. He congrats, congratulated <laughs> her about her goals, for her goals? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much, Alejandra. Right. Very good, Alejandra. Well done, Ale. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was actually pretty good and good accent too. All right, Edgar. Let's go, Edgar. Okay. I picked the last picture. Okay. One day when I visited my grandpa, I saw him picking up a phone call. And then I saw him very happy because he got a great news and he was laughing and happily. And then the great news was that he had a green car from USA. All right, very good. Good job that he got a free what? Yes. I didn't understand the last part that he got what? Oh. He he had a green card from USA. Oh, he, he, okay. <laughs> that is one, a green card, okay. Very, very good. By the way, guys, you cannot say a news, okay? Or a great news or new, whatever you want to say. Guys, this doesn't exist, okay? You cannot say a plus a uncountable noun, okay? Right? News, guys, news is uncountable, okay? So you can say some news or you can say news. I, example, all right? 
I have news. This doesn't mean, the, this is not a plural, guys, okay? It's not plural, right? Understand that part, it's not, okay? So, so just correct that, but other than that, beautiful job, okay? Next one, guys, who wants to share theirs? Go ahead. No more? All right, Raul. Raul, let's go, Raul. Thank you. Okay, uh, my history is one day my friend Tomas was sitting on the sofa. He was reading a book. Uh, the book was about mental games. He, he has always liked to read. And that day while he was reading, the phone was ringing. He thought he was imagining it, but he realized uh, that the phone actually was ringing and he got up from the sofa to be able to answer uh, the phone. And when he answered, it was her mom. She, want, uh, she wanted to know if he had eaten already. Nice, Raul, very well done, man. That's a very long story. Congratulations. Beautiful job, man, beautiful job, okay? All right, so uh, anybody else, guys? Me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, I can share my story. All right. Yes, yes, please. Uh, my uncle was reading the newspaper while the cell, no, the phone ring, and the boss calls my, my uncle, and the boss said, the factory have problems with the machines. When he said that the factory had problems with its machines. Very good. Good job. Thank you very much, uh, Fernando. Well, that is also correct. Applause for Fernando, guys. Good job, Fernando. All right. Applause, guys. All right, let's go. Hey, um, okay, so that's, guys, how you use it in real life. Okay. So I got a couple more stories with you guys, but let's... I think, um, uh, all right, so I want you, to, we're gonna do a different activity this time, okay? And with this, with, with this guys, we conclude past perfect, I mean, simple past versus past progressive, okay? All right, so the last activity that we're gonna do, guys, is this. You're simply going to ask questions about their past experiences, about your classmates' past experiences, okay? So you're gonna tell them, for example, hey, you can say, can you? Can you tell me about um, whatever thing, whatever it is in the past, guys, okay, right? Talk about a past experience here, experience, okay? So for example, can you tell me, can you tell me about uh, your happiest memory? Or can you tell me about your last, vacation or can you tell me about the last time you fought with your peores nada right i don't know right <laughs> no uh don't don't be too nosy right so basically guys ask your uh ask your classmate about their past experiences okay get to know them okay I'm gonna be listening in, guys, and I'll give you feedback if I hear any mistakes, okay? And that is the last activity for tonight, all right? So let's get together again, guys, and let's practice, let's go. Do we have any questions, guys? We good? All right, let's go. No teacher, clear. Let's go then, let's join this, let's join. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Buenas noches, José Daniel. Hola, José Daniel. Hola, hola. Hola, buenas noches. Por rato me funciona el micrófono y por rato no. Ah, ya. Luego lo desconecto y lo vuelvo a conectar. Sí, bueno, vamos a trabajar mientras podamos. ¿Qué eh, usted me va a experience uh, right teacher yes uh, i'm going to tell uh, to tell daniel about uh, about some experience in uh, about past experience about me okay all right only that or there are uh, any more we I don't, uh, uh, I don't copy uh, the, the question. Okay, uh, oh, you didn't get the question? Well, it's just, it's just, you know, ask them about the past experience. So can you tell me about, you know, and then mention the past experience you want um, Daniel to talk to you about? Past experience, okay, teacher. When I, when I was a child, teacher, <laughs> when I was a child, it is um, it's an experience in, in, in the past. Okay, when I was a child, a child, teacher, I remember that I had um, I had um, several friends. Uh, I have I have several friends. In several village, several friends. Several friends in the village when I live. Okay. Um, I have several friends in the uh, in, in the village when I live. Um, and I remember uh, that uh, every afternoon we went to the yard to play with the ball because uh, because in front of my hat it, it was a a, a yard uh, when the when all the uh, uh, the teenager uh, meeting in the the weekend to to play uh, to play soccer um, but uh, but me and and the other and the, the another friend the uh, other friend uh -huh, but 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 me and the another friend the uh, other we, we uh, the other uh, the yes. other friend uh, we meet him every every uh, every afternoon and we play soccer every day and that was a very nice uh, experience it's a, and that I, I remember in, in my, about my child. Okay, it was a nice experience that you remember about your childhood. Okay. All right, that's awesome. Continue, continue, right? So Daniel, now it's your turn. Good job, that was pretty good, man. Pretty, pretty good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, only Thursday, I mean, uh, okay. we do a uh, different celebrations in the. Okay. Yeah, uh -oh. and then it's coming Friday and Saturday. <laughs> the whole okay. week is busy. Okay. Okay. It's it's history interesting. Your history the mm -hmm. is very important. Uh, it's visiting visiting the the church in the, in the mm -hmm. Holy Week. Yes. Yeah, in my case, it's okay. is different, but no, it's a uh, normal uh, uh, out with 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 family. It's mm -hmm. rare. It's rare. That is good sharing with the family. Because sometimes we we have not seen the relatives from months or year, even years, 
or any time and on holy weeks or on holy week or uh, december 25th and 31st we used to meet them once a year but we share yeah. with them <laughs> okay Hay que romper la dieta de vez en cuando. <risa> También. Nice, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, in, 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 the, in my case, the um, Saturday, the, I roast, roast beef. Mm. Yeah. Um, yummy. <risa> Yes, yeah. it's it's uh, uh, del but delicious in my case is my one uh, food favorite. <laughs> do you do you know a uh, delicious recipe for for cooking? Any delicious recipe? Yes, yes, right. Okay. In, in my case, I, I, I mean, I prepare the pasta uh, for the... Alfredo pasta? For the beef, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I learned how to, to prepare or cook uh, Alfredo pasta, carbonara pasta. Yes, I more or less, I, I, I cook it. <laughs> the pasta. I prepare oh, the pasta. Okay. <laughs> what ingredients do you use to cook the pasta? It's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> that is... That's good. That's, that's a good one, man. Okay. Uh, I, did I, did, I did share the, the, their, their, their recipe. <laughs> recipe. The recipe. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, great job, great job, okay? So um, that's it, guys, that's it for tonight. Hey, is everybody here? Oh, yes, all right. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know, all right? Send me a message on WhatsApp or anything. But uh, you guys are doing great, okay? How good do you feel with uh, uh, knowledge between the knowledge about uh, while and when, guys? From one to ten, is it clear now? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, did you? That clear? Yes, yes, it's clear. Very good. All right, so guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Then enjoy your evening. Right. Have a good it's night, guys. Thank you. Have a good night, night. Thank you, teacher.